Welcome to McNeil Tech, the wash experience. My name is Scott Ferry and I work for Budco, a distributor of McNeil Wash Systems. Today we're going to talk about the inspections, general maintenance, and lubrication points of the Gloss Boss Tire Shiner. When working on any equipment, understand all the hazards associated with the task. Before starting any work, lock out and tag out the equipment. Take all necessary safety precautions, including personal protective gear, which includes, but is not limited to, safety glasses, gloves, and footwear. We're going to start at the entrance side of the brush for the visual inspections. Now, first of all, we need to make sure that the guide rail cover, which is this yellow plastic piece here, is uh, attached properly, that it, isn't, it doesn't have excessive wear on it. Now, when it begins to wear and you start getting corners and gouges pulled out of this, it needs to be replaced. We need to inspect our bearing, our shaft bearing. We also need to inspect the chemical application manifold. Now this over time might get develop clogs in the little, they're not very big, they're small holes on the top of this manifold. And so those need to be cleared out so that we have even application of chemical over the length of the brush. Uh, then we also need to inspect our arm bearings, which we've got one right here. Uh, but there's two on each side of each arm, so a total of eight arm bearings that need to be visually inspected each time you do this process. Towards the middle of the brush, we need to inspect the bumper. So this, this bumper right here, again, it'll wear out. It's a wearable item, so it needs to be monitored for, for wear. Then we also have our clevis right here that, ha that the rear of the air cylinder attaches to. The need to make sure the hardware is tight and sound. Uh, then of course we've got our anchors. Anchors will need to be checked on any brush, anything that's attached to the floor, the anchor needs to be checked and tightened periodically. We also have our check valves right here, just looking for leaks, looking for uh, prod problems with chemical application. It could be because one of those is hanging up. Uh, listening for air leaks on the nose seal of the air cylinder. That's something to always check. Also, again, checking bearings, checking the, this fastener right here this, that holds the rod end to the framework or the equipment. Make sure that that's nice and tight. But this one is really important. So we have a level that's sitting right here on the framework of the equipment. And in order for the product to maintain even distribution, the manifolds themselves have to be absolutely level. And so we have to check and make sure that the framework itself is level. So when it's level, we get even distribution, which results in high quality tires. So continuing the visual inspections, one of the most important visual inspections to make on the brush is the electrical integrity of the equipment. So that means that from the junction box on the framework all the way to the motor, we need to make sure that there are no cracks that the conduit hasn't come loose. On some models, there's actually just a cable that runs here. So we need to start all the way back here at the box, all the way along the arm, make sure that there's no points of wear, that there's no uh, cracks, fraying, whatever, and all the way out to the motor. And you know, this needs to make, this also needs to be tight so that no water or whatever can get inside the junction box on the motor. Then while we're down here, also inspect the plastic cover and uh, guide rail protector, the exit guide rail protector. And then of course there's another bumper on the back side that this is the bumper that restricts the movement of the brush towards the center line of equipment. And so it needs to be made, we need to make sure that that doesn't wear out because if this wears out, then the air cylinder becomes the stop and then that will fail prematurely. Uh, if the, when this starts to get worn, you just replace it. But uh, that, that kind of concludes our visual inspections. There are 10 lubrication points that need to be greased weekly on the uh, gloss boss. So we first of all, we have our arm bearings, which there's eight of those total, uh, four on each arm. And then we have the shaft bearing back here that needs to be greased. And then the rod end bearing on the air cylinder. Now also with the air cylinder, we need to lubricate the shaft on that. So we need to spray fluid film into the nose seal on the cylinder and then also on the shaft itself. 
One of the other critical visual inspections to make is on the chemical distribution system itself. So this is, the, this is what it is, and we have a series of air cylinders here that drive the product out to the brush. But it's really important to make sure that there's no air bubbles that develop in the uptake tube or in the discharge lines. So if there is, then they need to be cleared out, and that air bubble will need to be cleared all the way out to the brush itself. And that concludes the overview of the maintenance and lubrication on the Gloss Boss Tire Shiner. Thank you for joining us at McNeil Tech, The Wash Experience. <laughs>